Mornings with Jerisha is a radio show and podcast here to equip, empower, and elevate you to the next level by helping you win your mornings and win your day with inspiration and motivation so you can wake, slay, pray, and take action. Today is a fabulous day to be great, have great, and do great. You just have to be willing to unleash your greatness and take action. This show is for everyone from all walks of life who just simply want to feel empowered and motivated to take the next step. Now, let's get it. Let's go. Mornings with Jerisha begins now. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome back to another episode of Mornings with Jerisha. And we are officially at a new month. Can you believe it? Can you believe how this year has just flown by? But nonetheless, we are at a new month. And how was your month last month? So how was October for you? I hope that you were able to you know, really have a productive month. I hope you were able to really get some things done. And I truly hope that you were able to execute on your goals, your dreams, and walking into your purpose. And so on this show, it's all about, you know, that inspiration, really helping you to feel empowered each and every morning. And so I hope that if you're listening, that you stop by to get motivated, really stop by to get empowered so that you can continue to slay and take action in everything that you're doing. So let's just jump in to this breakfast breakdown for the morning, the breakfast breakdown. And when I tell you, if you don't know what the breakfast breakdown is, it is where I share what I am learning, what I'm loving, and what is really making me um, feel empowered. And so today's breakfast breakdown to start with the learning part. So what I am learning, my goodness, you know, I firmly believe that we should be learning something each and every day. And so what I have been learning over the course of um, probably the last, I know it's been way more than the last few months, but it seems like, you know, those lessons that just keep on teaching and keep on giving us those reminders. And so I have really been learning how powerful our connections are or how powerful connecting is. And so it's so very, it can be a very, very uh, meaningful, powerful connection. And you just don't know unless you're willing to put yourself out there, go out there, network, connect. And, And so I have really tried to be more intentional about connecting and networking. And so that's looking at the networking events that I'm going to, you know, um, participate in, you know, attend and looking at those things and those events like a month in advance. So I know what my schedule is going to look like and I can begin to even add some of those events in. Because when I tell you the, the, oh, just the, the connections that I've been able to make over the course of the last probably month and a half, just absolutely powerful, powerful. You never know with talking to someone who they're connected to and how that, how they really can support you and you can support each other. So, you know, I'm all about being supportive. I'm all about empowering each other and especially women. And so it's just been a really great learning experience for me. And so what I am loving is this time of the year. So This time of the year is very, um, for a lot of people, it tends to be very stressful for them. But for me, it is a very relaxed, um, it's all about planning and really just, when I say planning, diving into, you know, like this deep planning for the next following year. And so it's a lot of reflection for me um, as well. And I enjoy reflecting. So I'm loving that we're in, like we're officially in November because it is the best time of the year for me. Um, I'm hoping and praying that it's the best time of the year for you. And you, if not, then you can begin to look at it a little different um, as well. It's also a huge time for a family. And so I love just all of, you know, all of the family stuff and 
um, you know, the getting together and all of that and being able to celebrate and um, just enjoying each other's company and making more memories. And so I'm really loving this time of the year. Um, I'm loving the season and what it means. Now, because of where I live, it's cold, which means I don't love, I don't love the, you know, the, the weather, <laughs> but I'm loving the season and everything that goes with it. Even the decor. Can we really get into the decor? Like I really love the fall decor, um, as well, but what I am, um, really feeling empowered about today is, um, what am I feeling empowered about? There's so many different things, but let me tell you. So I don't think I've mentioned this on um, the show. Um, my son actually, uh, my oldest son had mentioned to me um, probably a few weeks ago, we were trying to figure out the name of a book that someone kind of casually had mentioned to him. And so when we figured out what the name of this book was, it, you know, it was like, you know how you just have those moments and it's like, oh, this is it. I know what it's called. So um, we finally figured out what the book is, uh, what the book was called. And um, and I was like, oh, yeah, absolutely. I definitely think that, um, you know, I've I've actually heard him speak and I'll tell you who the who it is in a second. But I've heard him speak and I'm like this. I'm sure it's a really great book. Well, I love being able to look at, you know, not just being able to purchase a book, but seeing if there may be actually a devotion to go to the book as well. And so um, if you're not familiar with um, the um, the Bible app, there is tons of devotions that you can actually um, complete. And it's it's a free app. It's an amazing app. And so I happen to get on there and seeing that there, that actual, the book title um, and that author actually has a devotion on there. And so the book is called The Power to Change, Mastering the Habits That Matter Most. And it's by Craig uh, Groeschel. And I know that I probably said his name wrong, but um, the last name is spelled G-R-O-E-S-H-E-L. And I've actually heard him speak at a conference before. Amazing speaker, truly, truly um, just, you know, amazing. And so he has this book and of course the book has, um, the book is, the book has a devotion. And so I have actually been, um, you know, going through the devotion and it's pretty amazing. It's pretty amazing. And so it's really just empowering me each and every day, you know, to take a look at, um, how we can begin or how I can begin to, um, you know, make some changes in my own life. And um, because ultimately that's what we want to be doing, right? So as, even as you think about this, you know, at the end of the year and some of the things that, you know, you're, you're, you know, wanting to continue to work on before the end of the year. And then also those things that you're, you're wanting to eliminate and not take into next year. It's all about that, you know, the changes, the changes that we need to make in our life. And so it's just a really great, um, a really great reminder to, you know, me each and every day. Now I haven't purchased the book yet, um, but I'm going to purchase the book and I'll tell you more about the book as I, you know, dive in. Um, I have another book that I'm actually reading and I mentioned that on the last show. Um, but I really feel like this is going to be a really great book because, you know, I talk about that, about, you know, habits and mastering our habits in our lives. And I think this is going to be a really great book to actually speak about um, and share some of, you know, at least some of my insights from the book as well. So that is what's really empowering me um, each and every day. And so the actual devotion plan, um, it is a, it's a seven day plan. And so again, if you're familiar with some of the devotion plans on the Bible app, there are several, I mean, like there's hundreds, probably even thousands of devotions on there. And you can just type in the keyword and it'll pop up with, you know, several different um, devotions that you could potentially do. And so I literally just went there, typed it in and found it. And so it has been a truly, you know, amaz amazing um, devotion to um, to do every single day. But that is that is the breakfast breakdown for <laughs> for today. And so I really hope that as you listen to 
the breakfast breakdown. Um, it helps you really kind of, you know, think about your own, your own, you know, questions, the, the own, what am I learning? What am I loving? And what am I really feeling um, empowered about today? Um, and so with that being said, with that being said, I really want to talk a little bit more about um, this new month and and how we can really embrace the, the new month. So I feel like, you know, around this time, we always see this, you know, reset and, um, you know, restart and fresh start and new beginning and all that, because that's exactly what it is. How are you, you know, how are you going to move into the new month? So there's a whole so thing that, you know, like there's a whole entire like outline and list and, um, you know, things that I kind of go through a checklist that I go through in order for me to, you know, really feel like I am set in position and ready for um, the next following month. But, you know, not everyone does that. And that's not a part of everyone's process, but it is a part of mine. But I wanted to really just jump in a little bit because, you know, we are literally at the end of the year. Um, it's a new month. Yes, it's a new beginning. But how are you, you know, when you see that, when, you know, whether you're, you're focused on, okay, what is my goal? I really hope that it is helping you you know, like it's empowering you. So it's empowering you to to look at your own um, life. It's empowering you to look at your own goals and say, what is it that I'm really wanting to finish up before the end of the year? What are the things that I need to really buckle down um, on and, you know, really, really get focused and get laser focused so that I can finish this out? And so there are several different projects that I literally have been working on, continue to work on. There are some projects that I'm working on um, that I will be finished by the end of the year. There are some projects that will um, that will continue, you know, next year. And those are the long term projects that I'm, you know, that I'm working on. But this is the time to really reflect and um, and I think that when we jump into a new month, there's so many different things that the month provides, right? So it provides us with, you know, kind of like a blank slate. It's a new month. You, you know, maybe you have new goals. Um, maybe you have goals that you've, you know, carried over and I call them carryovers. Um, and I even say it's carryovers from day to day to anything you don't finish today. Guess what? Go ahead and carry it over <laughs> to tomorrow. But don't get in the habit of carrying things over. So if you don't finish it today, when are you know when is your deadline for really finishing it? I know that we have these long, long, just never ending to do list, and you know that's okay. However, you have to really look at that list and say, okay, what are my top three, or what is you know what are the things that I really need to make a priority, and then focus on those things today. And then guess what? Whatever else is left, you know, whatever else that you're able to knock out, kudos to you. Those are bonuses. But at the end of the day, the beginning of the month, it is really like this blank slate for us. So it's a blank slate for you to be able to say, okay, how do I want my month to, you know, to go? What are my plans for the month? For me, it's always being strategic with, you know, all of the areas of my life. What are what are the things that I'm continue to work on? It's really going back and doing that reflection. As I mentioned, how are you reflecting? Did you reflect on October? What worked? What didn't work? Because you really want to make the most of the new start, right? So you want to make the most of the new beginning. And so I think before we have to, uh, before we can jump into um, just a new month, new beginning, you have to look at what worked, what didn't work, what were your goals previous the previous month, and um, really get clarity on what you're really wanting for the next following month or for this month. So Oprah Winfrey, you know, I love, um, you know, pulling out quotes. And so Oprah Winfrey um, said that we, we should turn your wounds into wisdom. And so before we embrace the new month, we have to take that moment to reflect on the past month, right? So we have to acknowledge those victories and it doesn't matter how big or how small, we have to celebrate our progress. I feel like we get so caught up 
in our day to day that we don't stop and celebrate. Um, we don't really stop and celebrate those the things that that we accomplished for the month. A lot of us think that it's, you know, it's things that are, oh, that's too small. Well, guess what? You need to go back and celebrate the big wins, even the small wins. Those are so very important. It is so important to celebrate your progress because as you look at your progress, a lot of times we think, oh, I'm not, I'm nowhere near where I want to be. However, you, you have come, you've come to the level that you're at. You've come as far as you've come so far and you have to be willing to celebrate, you know, your journey up to this point. So I really feel like when we, when we go through that process of um, reflection, we have to be willing to have that release too. And so if you didn't hear uh, last, last, uh, the last episode, make sure you check it out because I talked about, you know, navigating through discomfort and I mentioned, um, you know, releasing and all of that and, you know, doing a reset. And so you want to go back and listen to that episode, but we have to be willing to release those things that, that don't serve you. Right. And so even if you look doing it from month to month, sometimes it's, it's hard to even do it from, you know, that month to month, or we have this, um, you know, this idea that this is, you know, the part of my reflection as I end the year going to the new year, but it's important to be able to reflect and say, you know what, this really didn't serve me well. Um, so I'm not going to, you know, do this this month, you know, this really didn't work out good. So I'm not going to, you know, utilize this this month or, you know, this connection was really not a good connection. So I, you know, I have to understand that that's not, um, that's not a person that I really need to be, you know, connected to or, um, somebody that maybe you just need to be willing to, you know, step away from. And so that reflection and that release is, it's very, very important in this, this process of, you know, new month, new beginnings. But, you know, I really encourage you to look at that new month, the new beginnings and say, what does that really mean for me? A lot of times it's all about goal setting. And so I think that's good. We definitely should, you know, have those goals and make sure they are, you know, realistic. So going back to that smart goal thing, but we have to make sure that as we're setting goals, that we're not just continuing to set all these, you know, you know, all these goals. And we haven't even looked at going back to that reflection part at the goals that we, we set for the previous month. So don't keep adding more goals unless you have been able to accomplish some of the other goals that you've set. And hopefully that makes sense. It, it makes sense in my mind. So I'm hoping that that makes sense. And so I really want to give you um, an example because I feel like goal setting is very important and we all should have goals set for our lives in all the different areas of our lives. However, if you are struggling on something or you have, you know, like you're setting your goals for the month and you haven't looked back at, you know, the other goals, or maybe you've, you said, um, let's take health and fitness for an example. So you have health and fitness and, you know, maybe your goal last month was, I'm going to exercise three times throughout the week. Well, now you, you're you setting a goal for November and it's, I'm going to exercise five times throughout the week. However, you did not even do the three times out of the week. That is what I mean about, you know, um, making sure you revisit, you reevaluate your current goals or your previous goals to make sure it makes sense for the goals that you're setting for this current month um, or the, you know, the current month of November. So looking back at October and making sure the goals that you had set for October, it makes sense based off of the goals that you're setting for November. And so it was going back to that realistic, that realistic thing and looking at those smart goals. So goal setting is extremely important um, on this, on this journey. And if you haven't written your goals down, you know, I always say, make sure you're writing your goals down. You know, Zig Ziglar, um, he said, if you aim at nothing, you will hit it every time. And so I think that as we, um, you know, really go into this new, this new, um, this new month and new beginnings, if you will, I think it's really 
it's really important for us to have those goals and really have defined objectives for what we're looking and wanting to accomplish. And so that is really buckling down and looking at the goals that you have already in place and then um, being able to really reevaluate those goals. And guess what? You can continue to reevaluate. I would encourage you to have check-ins with yourself as well. So I do a monthly check-in. I do a weekly check-in. I do quarterly check-in, a yearly check-in, a daily check-in. And what does that look like for you? So if you're having goals that, you, that you're setting in all the areas of your life and those areas being um, your relationships, your, your finances, your health and wellness, your personal professional development, and then um, also your faith. So spiritually as well, what are those goals you know, look like? And then having a check-in, a check-in, asking yourself, you know, what's working? What did, what's not working? You know, how am I feeling about this goal now? Why am I feeling this way? So there are several questions that you can ask yourself. And, and here's the thing to remember that with each check-in, there's always questions that you need to be asking yourself. I think I want to do a show on the, the check-in and, um, and then I'll give you a list of the questions that I actually utilize for my check-in process as well. But during this, this uh, new month and walking into November, I hope that you're walking into this month of November with nothing but positivity. Because I don't know about you, but if you have ever um, either, you know, I know we all have been around people that are just, you know, as they call them negative. Um, I've heard negative Nancy's. I don't know what they call the male version of that, but um, just negative people, or I call them joy stillers. Um, but if you've ever been around that negative energy, it's not a good feeling. And it's really not good if you're the one that has the negative energy. We have to really be willing to embrace our journey, embrace the new month with positivity. Are you, are you in a positive, um, you know, having a positive mindset about your month? Are you embracing positivity? You know, it's jo- uh, Joel Olston actually said, "I'm choosing to be positive and having a great, a gratitude, a grateful." Uh, attitude is going to determine how you're going to live your life. And I truly believe that. I believe that to the fullest. Because in those moments when you're positive about things, it just, to me, things just kind of seem to flow a lot better than what they, you know, they typically do when you're looking at it with a different perspective. And so to me, positivity really has an impact on our outlook and um, our mindset. So our mentality. And so I would encourage you to choose being positive about, you know, your month, even if you didn't perform like you wanted to the previous month, even if, you know, maybe last month was the worst month ever in your whole entire life. Guess what? There's hope that this month will be better. But guess what? You have to be willing to change your attitude about it. So how are you going into the month? Today is day one. And it's your opportunity to embrace the positivity. It's your opportunity to look at it and say, you know what? I'm going to do what what matters most. I'm going to really approach this whole, you know, new month and new beginning thing from a different perspective. I'm going to change my mindset, even though last month didn't go the way that I wanted it to. But know that there's still hope. There's hope. But you have to be willing to, one, have a different attitude. So you have to be willing to do something different. You have to be willing to change your attitude. You have to be willing to take action, to keep taking action. Maybe last month you, you know, you tried something and it didn't work. What are you going to do different this month? How can you change whatever happened last month and turn it into something positive this month? I really feel like each and every day, each and every month, there are so many lessons that life teaches us. So many lessons, but we have to be willing to embrace it as a lesson. We have to be willing to understand and then grow from it. What did you learn last month? You know, I just did the break of the breakfast breakdown 
where I talked about what I'm learning, what I'm loving, and what is empowering me. And I do that every show, but you can even take that and use that for your month. What are you, what did you learn last month? What did you love? What really made you feel empowered? And then knowing that is something that you're really wanting to put in place for your life, then you strive and you look for those opportunities to learn for this month. You look for those opportunities to be able to say, you know what, I'm loving this. Maybe it's a hobby. You know, who knows? You look for those opportunities to feel empowered. Because I believe as you embark on this um, fresh start, new beginning, new month, you have to remember that you are your only barrier. You have to break your limitations and see your potential skyrocket. We have to embrace the new beginnings and really go after those opportunities. And I believe that when we do that, we will be able to see how wonderfully we bloom. You will be able to see how wonderfully you bloom. So I say welcome to the first day of a new beginning for you. And maybe this is the first day of the rest of your life. Maybe this day is the day that you're starting a new season, a new chapter. And make sure you make the most of it. So it's a new month, a new day, a new date, a new chapter, a new page, new wishes. But here's to an extraordinary month and an extraordinary you. So I thank you for tuning in to the Mornings with Jerisha show. I hope you are ready. Let's get it. Let's go. Thank you for listening to the Mornings with Jerisha show. Follow me on all social media platforms, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, and YouTube at Jerisha Moore. Email Jerisha at EmpowerOnPurpose.com and text 937-938-6373 and have a great day on purpose.